Hello everyone, here I have a nice little tip that will help you learn how to play proper intonation on a fiddle or a violin. So this is the old school trick just to learn either your basic scales or just to check to make sure that your fingers are going down the right place because, well, uh, this thing doesn't have any frets to guide you and eventually you're going to have to take those tape markers off, okay? So you're going to have to practice where and how your fingers come down on the fingerboard so that way you have the correct intonation and you don't sound slightly off, which is one of the most discouraging things when it comes to learning this particular instrument, okay? So just to run over exactly how I use this, and I know a lot of people do, as if they figure that they they got a bad habit going and they just want to make sure that it just sounds right, you can always use an electronic tuner. Okay, now the old school way to do it would be to get one of those clamp-on styles or one of the big ones that had the big battery back in the day, but everybody just uses the cell phone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the microphone on this guy is really, really good. It's picking up all the natural tones in my voice as I'm talking right now. Um, this is a free music tuner that I downloaded uh, onto my phone. Uh, any will work just fine because they all work the same exact way. I like this one because I can read it easily and it seems to be super reliable. Okay, so just to show you how I go about this, just check your tuning. So if I check the G, the bottom, without talking, little flat. So I'm just going to bump the fine tuner a little bit. There we go. Check the D. Good. E, A. Yep. E. Little flat, so I'm just going to bump it a little bit. Okay, there we go. Close enough. You can be a couple points off the decimal and your ear's not going to pick it up. But as long as you're not off by a whole number, you'll be fine. Okay, so that's what we're going to strive for. So I'm going to play a straight G major scale, which only has one sharp, the F sharp, right? So if I play G, my low G, right there. Okay, now my next note's going to be an A. So I'm going to say it's right here. Oops, a little flat. So I'm going to move just a little bit up. Right there. Okay, now what I teach my students to do is to keep that finger there and play the next note. So in this case, it's going to be a B. Looks like I got pretty good that time. Okay. Next one's going to be a C. Good. Okay, so there, as I'm holding it, see if I can get that. There we go. Look at that. That's exactly what I have to hold on this instrument. Okay, a lot of these older instruments are not the same. That's why it usually everybody has their favorite violin or their favorite fiddle that they love to play because it fits their hand or it fits their style or the scale just it just works right and if you pick up somebody else's it takes a really talented person to be able to find the scale on that instrument very quickly so let's see if I can get this right by playing G A B C a little sharp that time go not bad okay so now we're going to try a little bit quicker not bad okay I'll take it the nice thing about a G major scale it is the same finger pattern to go and complete your scale so if this is G A B C on the next string open D it's going to take the same exact finger pattern so E F sharp G. I'll take it. Not bad. Okay, so if I go up all eight notes, mm, I should probably let it find the note first. So we're go we'll go a little bit slower. Okay, I'm a little 
little flat on my second and third fingers. We'll try that again. Oops. There it is. I'll take it. Works out well. Okay. You can do this with all your scales, all of your finger patterns, all the way up and down the neck. Okay. A lot of musicians do this just to make sure they get their fingers just right so that way it doesn't sound just wrong.